there, and welcome to another episode. So thousands of small businesses get started every single year. Have you ever thought about starting something you can call your own? Have you tried? But have you really tried? It's exciting. On this episode, we're going to get into a little bit of that. We're going to talk about how to make money or how to find happiness. So today's episode, we'll cover a couple of basics, the struggles of business, the struggles of happiness, the advantages and disadvantages of both. And not to mention, we're going to check in with a non-profit organization called The Men's Shed on today's episode of Scott Spinda's Sales Adventures. All right, it's time to hit the open road. Destination, Hawaii Men's Shed Association. You can visit them at www.hawaiimensshed.org. They're located in Snug Harbor on San Island. Now, when it comes to finding happiness, the guys at Hawaii's Men's Shed has got it down. I have never met a more humble, old school, cool bunch of cats with more life experience that we can all learn from. Speaking of learning, I am a huge movie buff. In fact, on my Facebook page, I love to put motivational quotes and stuff to keep people going. So stuff like this comes along pretty often. And if you're a movie guy too, you guessed it, those are quotes from Jerry Maguire. You probably also noticed the gigantic Titanic. Yes, that is an actual poster up at Scott Espinda's Sales Adventures headquarters. I love the Titanic for so many reasons. The first being that there isn't a life lesson in the world that can't be learned from the Titanic. In fact, for me personally, when it comes to business and how to make money, one quote comes to mind. I'm not an idiot, Rose. I know how the world works. I've got 10 bucks in my pocket. I have nothing to offer you. And I know that. I understand. But I'm too involved now. You jump, I jump, remember? I can't turn away without knowing you'll be all right. That's all I want. So I'll let you in on a little secret. That right there, my friends, is my demeanor and attitude towards everything that I do in my life. I am a firm believer that if you do the work, the money will follow. And yes, you'll hear me talking about the Titanic a lot more because like I said, every entrepreneur should. I mean, there's not a life lesson that you can't learn from the Titanic. Let's take a look at how it sank. It was claimed to be the unsinkable ship. Why not even God himself could sink this ship? So he said, but come to find out, God himself didn't sink that ship. But you know who did? Man. Or did God sink the ship? And this is exactly why I love the Titanic. It is so interesting and the story can go any which way. Let's say God did sink the ship. Well, accordingly to Greek mythology, everyone knows the constellation Orion. Well, the story goes that Orion is a great hunter. It's so much in fact that he boasted that he is the greatest hunter in the world and that he cannot be stopped. Well, as legend has it, Zeus heard his boast. And, let's see, he sent, oh, a giant scorpion to chase after him for all eternity. That's right, if you look up in the sky next to Orion, you will see a constellation of a scorpion. For his punishment is to be chased for all eternity by the scorpion for boasting that he is the greatest hunter in the world. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a special treat for you. I would like to introduce to you my bread and butter. Yes, for those of you thinking, boy, I hope he don't quit his day job. Don't worry, my friend. I didn't. In fact, I sell drywall and steel frame screws. Yeah. So you can go on and check out Titan Fastening Systems. Give me a call, send out a message, and we can definitely work something out. 
for we have been servicing the industry ever since 2005. Go ahead, give me a call. Mama always told me maintaining a business is like taking care of your lawn. I know what you guys are thinking. All right, let's hear what Mama has to say. All kidding aside, really, maintaining a business is like taking care of your lawn. Me personally, I love cutting my grass. There's a certain sense of accomplishment that you get when you're finished and you look back at all of your hard work and everything is all nice and tidy. It's a lot like that. Now, not saying that it doesn't come with its twists and turns. You never know how bad your lawn will get. Long, short, wild, crazy, but every single yard will take hard work and dedication. If you're doing it by yourself, you have to love it. Otherwise, you'll find yourself paying somebody to take care of it, which isn't a bad thing as long as it gets taken care of. But, I, me personally, if you want something done right, you do it yourself. And with the right attitude, the right tools, and a little patience, you will start to see results. Eventually. In the process, you expect a major mess. But don't be overwhelmed. Always take it one step at a time. Let's not forget why we entrepreneurs do what we do. All of our hard work benefits our local economy, which benefits, you guessed it, your local community. In fact, none of this would be possible without entrepreneurs. And of course, generous donations. Well gang, we're nearing that time, almost to the end of our segment. But join us next time as we say, Ikomo Mai, with the Men's Shed. Check in One. with the founder, Glenn. Don't make me nervous with the three <laughs> Good old Glenn, like don't worry, I'm the sure the you're not the States. only one. Uh, we are also sponsored or under the sponsor sponsorship of the uh, Honolulu Sunset Rotary Club. So you make sure you join us for part two of this episode. Ikumo mai, it come along. And we'll see you next time as we check out Hawaii Men's Shed Association, where they are proud to say they work shoulder to shoulder. We'll even get a special sneak peek at the facilities. A gander. We'll take a tour, if you will, and check out, oh, oh yeah, and this little pretty girl. And we'll check out activities that they have going on, projects, so make sure you join us as we live aloha in Honolulu, Hawaii, 
with Scott Spinda's Sales Adventures as we cruise the streets, check out the scene, looking for entrepreneurship, big dreams, great people, and oh yeah, adventure.